Hello guys, this is Chad and Max. Hello, internet. <laughs> we have another episode of Community Challenge Climb Suit Flight. And there you go. Let's do it. <laughs> Enthusiasm. <laughs> Enthusiasm. We know we were supposed to originally have four people in this community challenge, but two people last minute were like, uh, oops, my well, friend has the game and like, oh, crap. It happens. <laughs> so we had a special one-on-one -on -one versus episode of this, which between Lorac and Crazy Gamer, their first challenge was to climb a Zin Tower. Any wow. one of the four. First well, one to do it would win. There you go. I mean, they're just trying. They're just trying to climb up all these crazy walls and stuff. I mean, you, you never know what's going to happen. Think it'll be a long happen. time, don't you? You know, it'll be like, oh man, that's pretty hard. It's going to take a while. No, the rack got in about forty-five seconds. I was baffled. Wow, that is very quick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I was like, wow, you're pr impressive. So Lorac takes round one. There you uh, go. The first person to two would win. All right. All right. So round two. Here we go. Moving on. First person to get suited up in the purple president's outfit would win. One of the best outfits in the game. <laughs> it's the one you start off with. It's amazing. Like, it's just classic Saints Row, you know? Yep. You gotta go with the purple, yo. Okay. So both have found their personal clothing store that they want. So here we have a sweet menu montage. Look at all those crazy this outfits. Is, uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's so intense. Like, whew. Menus, who's gonna go through it faster? Who's gonna find what they're looking for? Oh, hats. <laughs> a crazy luchador. <laughs> just... just Intense battling, you can just hear both sides like in your mind, they're like they're both like sweating, the palms are just like, oh god, I gotta find it. It's like up down, uh -huh. up down, down. <laughs> Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. and it turns out uh they both picked stores that didn't even have it. <laughs> Did not have the president suit, neither of those stores. That montage was for nothing. Exactly. By the time Lorac actually figured that out, he just had to run in that door a little bit. It was too little, too late. Crazy gamer found it. And he will win. Round There's that two. snazzy looking outfit. <laughs> so frenchy. I didn't need the hat. I just have the suit. So. Well, there you go. There you go. Crazy gamer wins round two. So round three here was a little bit interesting. They had to take the purple giant dildo bat and kill ten zin with it. Where do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> it's great, isn't it? So. You see right there, uh, Lorac got to get a little bit of a head start because he already had the dildo bat equipped, whereas Crazy Gamer had to go to the gun shop and re-equip it because he didn't have it. Wow. <laughs> That's actually going to play a big role in this because, well, Lorac was able to cause all that chaos and start getting his kills counted up while Crazy Gamer had to waste a lot of time. I know. A lot. You would think that dildo bat would be the first thing in the game you'd want to buy. <laughs> Oh, he had it. He just didn't have it equipped. Oh, well, Scrubbish. there you go. Crazy Gamer decided to use the dubstep gun, and he was punching himself over it because what happened is he caused a little bit too much damage, and he was just getting tons of, like, airships coming at him instead of, you know, foot foot zin. Ah, uh, <laughs> So, because with a dildo bat, you see here, he just he can't really kill anything, like ships or anything, because it just kind of, like, falls out. He has to get the ground troops in order to get them. Oh. And when you cause too much damage, well, then you don't really get a lot of those foot troops. So Lorac did it pretty well in staying right in the middle zone there, not getting too much of a ruckus started. I could see they're they're really trying. <laughs> look at this sweet whiff! Oh, what a troll by that! Boom! Zin. Look at that. Lorac still attacking that robot. Not I mean not Lorac. <laughs> Crazy gamer still attacking that robot. Don't know what he was doing there. He's like I'm slapping. He's like I don't know what I'm doing. It's like are we gonna see a big comeback? <laughs> No, we're not going to see a big comeback. Of course not. It's 9-1, to one, and now it is game over. Community well, challenge over. It happens. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the luck of the draw is not on your side. The rack just still going, racking up those kills. Unbelievable. <laughs> the guy's a monster. Look at that nice counter in the corner. <laughs> Anyways, that is going to do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. The promoted video is up next. Goodbye. Bye. Playing Saints Row 4, showing you how to get the You Chose Poorly and Epic Jump Quest achievements. I like how it's very uh, persuasive to cause more suffering or save the human race. Yeah, it's funny because I actually, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, it's a Matrix reference. Jumping around at the speed of sound. Oh, boop, boop, boop.